Hey, Platinum Fox here. You can call me Plat. And welcome to part two of the Galactic Craft Showcase. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head on up to the stars, and I will see you up there. And we will move right along into Galactic Craft and uh, learn about features that were added in space. Uh, check out part one if you, if you want to know about everything that you see on all these walls and behind that door, and uh, for re better recipes and. Uh, everything so check out part one for that but this is part two uh, and this will cover everything um, out in space and it'll it'll cover a little bit um, a little bit of the stuff here uh, I'll I talk more about the geothermal generator on Venus I'll talk more about that when we get there and I talk more about um, uh, the atomic battery those items on the walls and uh, maybe a couple other things but yeah uh, so this is part two, stick around, let's head off into space and get right into it. See you there. Alright, we are here in the space above Earth, and we are in a space station. And uh, I'm here to explain the new zero gravity. So, uh, Galacticraft 4 adds new zero gravity mechanics, and they're, uh, they're pretty interesting. Alright, so I'm going to go in the third person here. If you hold down shift... All right. First off, um, it's it's supposed to reflect uh, like you're using air from like your oxygen tank, except you don't. No air from your oxygen tank is wasted. It's just supposed to look like you're 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 using some form of little bit of propulsion. So I'm gonna tap my space bar really. Just let's tap it, and and I go I go up a little bit, and I, I mean I'm still going up, and I'm gonna hold down. Um, my A key, and I'm, I'm starting to drift away, and uh, I'm going to hold down my, my D key, and I'm going to hopefully drift back in a second. Alright, that's, that's not, it's really, it's really, I don't want to say slow, it's just interesting. It's, it's, it's nice to move in space now, and I'm going to, I'm going to try to get against this wall and, and shift and land. Alright, and so I'm going to hit shift so I slowly go down. Now if you hold space bar, you can see my screen kind of lowered a little bit, and my player um, didn't jump if I'm holding it. He had this little animation of, like, squatting. And if I let go, it's like power jumping. So he jumped really high, and we are, we are like, just going up there. So I'm going to hold uh, shift to go down, to, like, give me a little bit down propulsion. And I'm kind of slowing down. I think, oh, yeah, I'm starting to go down now very slowly. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a really neat system, and, um, wow, I, I think that almost gave me fall damage. Oh, I bounced! Oh, I didn't know you could do that! Oh, that's cool! I bounced! That's awesome. Um, but I'm gonna go into creative mode just for a quick second here, because the controls are different. They're, they're much more like flying. I'm gonna hold spacebar, and I just shoot up, and when I let go of spacebar, I stop. Same thing with, like, all the, I mean, you kind of, when you use the ASWD keys you drift I'm not holding any keys right now I'm just floating but whenever you shift or you use space you stop it, it's it's like it's a little more like flying but you with a lot of drifting in creative mode but I'm gonna go back into survival mode to show you what they've done now I'm gonna spawn in a skeleton and they're gonna probably burn or get hurt a little bit from the Sun solar radiation but there's this awesome new animation where when you punch them see that oh crap all right i'm gonna go into creative mode because i'm floating away way too fast but when you punch him i don't know if you caught that he rolled he rolled like he was flipping upside down because he was so i'm gonna punch him again and he rolled to make himself upright now if i punch him out the window he's just gonna float and it's so awesome i wish the player model did that i think it would be so much fun like People would probably get sick, but I mean, I, I, I'm sure they could make it a way to like turn it on and off. But I just, I think that would be so fun if the player could be able to do that. Uh, you know, like punch your friends and mess with them and whatnot um, in space. But uh, I'm going to do, uh, a spider sadly does not do it. A zombie does. <laughs> I love watching that. It's so fun. And uh, a creeper doesn't do it either, unfortunately. But it's just, even the zombie and the skeleton, it's just amazing that they were able to do that in the updated versions. And I'm super happy that uh, they, they are there. And uh, that's, that's all I know about zero-g movement. 
So uh, let's uh, let's move on to the moon now. We'll go a little bit farther into space, and we'll head to the moon and show you the new uh, villagers. All right, we are here on the moon, and uh, with the very loud and very deep-voiced uh, moon villagers. And uh, you can now take these lunar sapphires and trade, like the GUI appears. So one for a helmet. Uh, some oxygen tanks, oxygen gear, uh, canisters, parachutes, batteries, can of food, basic wafer. You can even get schematics from them if you don't find any in any dungeons. Now, no, no, notice the order here. Uh, mask, tank, gear, canister. We'll go to this guy. Mask, tank, gear, canister. Uh, I've, I've started to notice that a lot of these are the exact same, um, they're the exact same items in return. The only thing that changes is the numbers. So, I don't know if that's intended for, uh, ease of use or, or something, or if it's just, uh, a bug in this version. I mean, this is the full release right now, but, um, uh, I, I, I... I, uh, yeah, it's the only thing different is the numbers. Like, I think we saw one that was three a little bit ago for the tank. But, uh, yeah, you can now trade with, uh, moon, moon villagers. And, uh, I'll show you what some of the sapphire ore looks like. And, uh, this is the sapphire ore. It looks very nice. Model after, uh, Earth's emerald ore, I assume. But, yeah, so you can now trade on the moon. Make mo lunar trading. Kind of sounds kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, so these uh, lovely blue people have a, uh, a nice little purpose now, and they can help you along your uh, quest through the galaxy. So let's head on out to the uh, the asteroid belt now, and uh, let's show you some awesome features that have been added there. So uh, I'll uh, see you there. Alrighty, so I am here in the asteroid dimension, and uh, I spawned in over there where that little uh, waypoint is, uh, 240 blocks away. And... Um, this is a new structure that spawns in Asteroid Dimension, the, uh, the Asteroid Belt, and it is an abandoned space station, and it is super cool. So, I might throw on some night vision just so you guys can see it a little bit better, but I want to show it off on the outside first with no night vision. It is really cool, and I, I just, I mean, you could put whatever story you want to it of why it's abandoned, I'm, I'm sure, but I love how, um... It spawned in with like a little like it was hit with a meteor. Um, I found another version. Uh, I'll show that to you in a second after I'm done with this one. Going through this one, this is by far the biggest one I found. I've only found one other small version, and um, yeah. So I don't know how many versions there are. If you if you find any any more that aren't in this video, let me know in the comments. Like, give me a world seed and some coordinates. I would love to check it out. Because I, I love Galacticraft, it's one of my favorite mods. But So you, I just did a flyby around the outside, it looks super cool. And uh, so let's head on the inside. Alright, so there's a nice airlock door here. And uh, there's rooms, there's rooms here and there's rooms upstairs. Now we'll start here, this is like a, a, cryo, uh, a cryo bed room, it looks really cool. Uh, now normally, it is dark in here, I put this here earlier for the purposes of this showcase to brighten it up and make it look cool and I, I mean it just looks awesome even I'll, I'll, I'll turn it off and um, we let the lights update there we go I mean it still kind of looks cool in the dark it's probably super hard to see so I'll um I'll put it back but uh, this is the cryo room and it's these bases where you get the dark decoration block these abandoned space spaces that you're uh, you're looking at it right now this whole room is made of them and they blend in really nicely with the uh, the, the cryo chambers so um yeah this is how you get the uh the dark decoration block you just head on out to the asteroid belt and mine them and you can mine them with any pickaxe like i a, a wooden pickaxe works so don't don't worry and any pickaxe works but um yeah this is where you get them the uh asteroid dimension so uh let's let's go into the next room all right so in this room i'll uh, i'll just throw up another light so we can see better this room has a launch pad so, uh, I don't know if you get stuck out here, I guess, uh, if you find one of these bases, you're good. Um, heavy aluminum wire, and, uh, cargo, unloader, and loader. Now, nothing is in the unloader. But in the loader here, it is full of loot. 
uh, potatoes, rotten flesh, some steel poles, bunch of empty canisters, lots of thermal cloth, and um, slimeling inventory bags and gas tiers. So this is just some loot that you can get from these um, these abandoned space bases. So let's let's go take a visit at some of the other rooms. So in this room here, I don't I don't know what weird weird science experiments are going on in here, but it looks like this is bacterial sludge in tanks and uh, these lights are here I did not put those there just by the way but uh, this is a very interesting room I I uh, I want to know more what's going on here I, I wouldn't be surprised if in uh, when they do add those strange seeds if they will be in this room or maybe they'll make another room of generate I don't know but this room is just strange now uh, inside the magnetic tables here the uh, magnetic craft uh, crafting benches uh, there's loot too so there's nothing in this one you can uh, take these items out or you can take the iron axe so you have a nice choice there of whatever you need and then in this one there's a creeper head so that's pretty nice because uh, uh, I know in vanilla minecraft uh, I think you need to have a charged creeper which is incredibly rare kill a regular creeper so it's nice that you can get something like rare like that in the here um, without like any other mod giving you it to you but, um, all right, in this room, you have an Astro Miner base, or part of one at least, um, or a bunch, a bunch of them, and, uh, some energy storage clusters with no energy in them, uh, a regular storage module, and you have some switchable wires, and just, uh, I, I don't know, it's like a cool, uh, power station, I guess, because there's just wires and stuff, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just a full of a parts and bits of a abandoned space station. I, I don't know what the story is here, but I'm sure it'd be interesting to know. All right, sometimes that one gets covered during generation. I've seen some of these through like a bunch of world loading, where they're not covered. But you could jump on up here, and you have lights just kicked in. Um, you can jump on up here, and you have four more rooms. So in this room. You have some, uh, whoops, I jumped, tables with some brewing stands, and in them, you have water bottles. I mean, it says water bottle, and it has the no texture error. I'm, I'm assuming that's just for now, and I'm assuming that will be fixed soon, but, um, so you possibly even potions in the future, who knows, but, um, we'll, uh, we'll move on to the next room on this side. So this room, I, uh, I think, I like to think of this room as, like, the command center, because it's full of telemetry units and display screens, and... I don't know, I feel like if you stood here looking at uh, a bunch of screens, you could probably feel very important running this base. And there's more decoration, dark decoration blocks here for you to mine, as well as airlocks. There's airlocks all over this place. And um, in here, I have no clue what the story is, but there's nether wart, so that's good. Um, let's, let's see if you can uh, see if you can mine it real fast cannot so there there is unminable nether wart in here that is that's that's interesting and uh so okay in this room more dark decoration block which is great because i really do love this block and uh you have three nasa nasa workbenches and uh i don't believe a nasa workbench holds stuff in the first place so i don't think there would be loot in here anyway but uh just check and make sure that they did now something i found interesting about this base is these torches I don't know what they do. They don't really do anything, and I'm gonna break this uh, this glass wall in a second to show you. But this block right here, and if you mine it, you will not get it because this block is a player detector. So if you mine it, you won't get it. But it's here generating. I I don't know the purpose of it. I don't know why. Maybe when the lights turned on, that that did that. But these, uh, as far as I know, these levers don't do anything. And if we come out here, they are apparently connected to um, redstone wire. This is redstone wire, and I believe one of these is is um, a uh, a redstone repeater too. But I have no clue what they do or what their their purpose could have been. But it's just interesting. So if you need some hidden redstone wire, then uh, you can hit up space bases and mine this top layer if they're one of the bigger ones all right so i'm gonna jump over to a new world real quick and show you the small space base i found so i will be back in just a second
And I'm back in uh, the asteroid dimension of the other world. So here is the smaller version I, spawn I found. And mobs on the other one do spawn everywhere. I just had mob uh, spawning off on that other world. I apologize that it wasn't the full effect. But um, this is a smaller one I found. It's just like part of one half engulfed in an ice asteroid. Uh, so um, it's basically a lot of the same stuff like... Here's the cryo room. It's it's very dark again in here, but you can see what it is sort of. So there's the cryo room, the uh, um, NASA workbench room, the NASA the NASA table. But what's interesting about this one is in this one, um, if you uh, you get schematics for um, tier two. This is a tier two, and this one is a moon buggy. So you get schematics on. Uh, I'm assuming. Oh, you can hang them on walls. As picture frames oh that's cool that's cool I didn't know you could do that but uh, yeah, they're just schematics hung on walls and uh, that's interesting about this smaller one here I'll just throw those out and uh, it's, it's basically a lot of the same uh, rooms this is the uh, yet another um, throwing an arc an arc lamp in here yet another room and then there's uh, asteroid that it's engulfing this base uh, the display screen room, and uh, I think that's it for this one. Is that is that it? I thought there was more, but yeah, that's and there's a teeny tiny window. So this is like the different variant. Oh no, there there is a bottom. Uh, here's like the power room again with the uh, astro miner stuff and the power stuff. The there was another wart in here. I think I don't know if I broke it on accident, uh, but that was the nether wart room. This was just an empty room, so that can happen. <laughs> um, and then another empty room. So yeah, so this is just a smaller one I found. I thought it was interesting. I'm I'm happy that there were there are variants. I don't know if there's any more so far. Um, every world I've spawned, which is quite a few, uh, they've always been semi like see their spawn. We were like 200, 300 blocks from spawn in the last world. I, I'm, I don't know if it's just the, just a thing, if they're always going to be near spawn or if they're throughout the entire dimension. I, I done a lot of searching, like probably several hours worth of searching and I only came across uh, the ones near spawn. So I don't know what the spawn rate is. I don't know if, I don't know if they're throughout the dimension when you spawn, but if they are throughout the dimension, they are really, really rare. And they do come in different uh, sizes. So if you find any more that are other than the small type and the large type, the really awesome large type, uh, let me know in the, the comment section. And uh, so that's basically it, I think, for the asteroid dimension. So let us head over to the new planet that was added, Venus. And Venus is very cool. So uh, I, will, I will see you there. All right, we are falling to Venus. And I just wanted to show has this awesome effect of like fire coming down because I, th I think Venus is like the hottest planet um, we have, which I think it's just absolutely awesome that we have this. I'll come back when we land. I just wanted to show you that the, the cool fire effect that they paid attention to detail and it's really cool to look at. So I'll see you when we hit the ground. And we have arrived on the surface of the new Galactic Craft 4 planet, Venus. This planet is, I think, by far the best planet there is in Galactic Craft. So, I'm going to show you the, the surface blocks and stuff and the ores. So, this is a, um, a vapor spout, and uh, I'll get to those in a second. They're, uh, they're all out. They're all around here. But uh, this one's kind of inactive, and I'll show you why. But this is a vapor spout, and vapor comes out of here. Um, this is the general surface i think it's called venus soft rock if i'm not mistaken and uh then we have uh hard rock this is volcanic rock these are the dungeon blocks this is the floor and this is the wall this is scorched uh venus rock and then this is pumice and pumice like well there's there's some pumice it just uh spawns in like uh little little clusters here and there across the surface um, but the uh, the volcanic rock once you break it I don't I don't know if it'll work in creative mode but uh, oh it, it does once you break it and I'm gonna cover that back up real fast but once you break scorched uh, I'm sorry uh, volcanic rock it will turn back into uh, lava or not back into lava it will just turn into lava 
Um, part of the dungeon though is uh, the new the new dungeon boss, and uh, this is a hanging web and uh, web string, and then this is a web string with a glowstone torch. All right, so the ores on here are aluminum ore, copper ore, galena ore, and I'm like 98% sure I pronounced that right. I swear I like looked it up and I read the pronunciation very carefully and. I even ended up typing it into the Google Translate, translated it from English to English, and had it play back to me. So I'm pretty sure it's Galena. If, if not, I'm really sad then. Um, you have quartz ore, silicon, and I think this is aluminum. Nope, tin. My bad. Alright, tin. So that's all the ore there is to find on Venus. And the Galena ore, I... I was talking too much about pronunciations and not what it drops. Uh, Galena ore drops lead. Um, that is what the Galena ore drops. Um, oh yeah, not, uh, I just, I just forgot to mention that. Uh, gravity on Venus is two blocks high. You can jump two blocks. So that's, that's, that's kind of nice. Now, um, let's get on to the, um, the vapor spouts. Let me go find, like, a, a cool one over here. Here's one. So I'm going to go into game mode three and show you what this is. So under here is uh, you can see the tube is sulfuric acid and it, it, it's a chamber it's basically like a, a like a liquid chamber and it goes up the pipe and here's the spout and th those are um all over there's even like just ponds like there's lava ponds everywhere but there's also ponds of sulfuric acid you can find um but with the vapor spout now what's really 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 cool is that um, once you get the geothermal generator, you simply pop it on top of one of those and it fills with energy. And it is, um, see like it goes up and then it goes down, releasing energy I think, and then it goes back up. So uh, there's your output and then uh, that's basically all you need. You just need to set it on top of one of these things and if you find like a bunch of these clustered together or um, you have to see there's another one right there. So if you find a bunch of these clustered together, you could probably produce like a quite a bit amount of power. Now, um, let's get on to what else this uh, planet has to offer. Crashed probes because um, I guess probes don't last very long on Venus because pressure and heat and probably other um, features that are over my head at the moment. But crash probes, they leave giant craters like this, and um, when you click on them, you could find metal. And there is a lot, there's a, there's a lot of these, like, I'll show you my map real fast, where I've explored. There's just probes um, everywhere, and uh, each one, each one gives you, like, tier 1 or tier 2 heavy duty plating, compressed titanium, I think, I don't know about dash, maybe dash. But um, uh, definitely like iron and stuff like that. It just gives you like scrap metals, basically. I think it's supposed to represent. Now I'm gonna pop into. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a uh, pickaxe real fast, and I'm going to pop into survival mode and show you what this drops when you mine it. So um, let's do that real fast. Now once you mine a probe, you get invalid thermal protection. All right, that's right. I don't have. The tier two uh, thermal padding on at the moment, uh, which is my bad. So um, you get the radioisotope core, and this is used to make atomic batteries. Now atomic batteries are infinite; they have infinite amounts of power because of the radioisotope thing, and um, it, it comes with a trade-off. You know, you have to come to Venus to get it. And, and I know, I know, a lot of you are probably like, "Infinite power and survival? What?" But it does come with trade-offs. You have to come to Venus and mine a probe. And you have... It's slow. I put one in an energy storage cluster. And um, throughout building everything and getting everything ready for this showcase, I probably spent a good... Anywhere from four to seven hours. Uh, probably logged on into this world. And it got to like the halfway point of an energy storage cluster, the um, the tier two energy storage thing. 
and it is incredibly slow so i mean that's i think that's great i think i think if any mod were to add infinite power and i, I know there, there's some that technically like i know in 1.7 big reactors is pretty good for power but and there's other mods that are probably better than that and you they all require energy but for infinite power galacticraft did it right i mean they made it extremely slow like you're probably going to need like a hundred of those batteries. That's probably over exaggerating, but you're going to need a lot, a lot, a lot of those batteries, because my guess would be any machine you need to power will probably take more energy than those batteries pump out, even though they're infinite. So, um, yeah. So I think Galacticraft did it right. I, I, I like that. It is extremely slow, even though it is infinite power. So let's get on to the dungeon. Now the dungeon, I am not going to be fighting the boss because I want you all to fight the boss. I don't want to spoil that for you because I thought it was pretty interesting and cool. But this is the, the Venus dungeon and um, it, it kind of looks like every other Galacticraft dungeon, which I, I like. And uh, so it has the mob spawners and the cobwebs. The lighting is lava behind bars which i think is cool and we have all right we have loot so that you can get a sneak peek of what loot that has to offer and we'll keep moving on and on and we will view that loot real fast and we'll just make our way to the boss room all right here's the boss room let's see what it has to offer behold she love the spider. Oh wait, she love. That's probably trademarked by, by Lord of the Rings. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, behold, Shirley, the Spider Queen. This, this is the Spider Queen. We will call her Shirley. And um, Shirley, is huge. Like, let me, let me try to get next to her. Massive spider. And uh, the fight is really interesting. I'm, uh, I will, let me spawn in a, um, a, another mob that appears when you fight good old Shirley here. It is called the Juicer, and it is just like a little spider, a little alien spider that looks really creepy and really awesome. So, once you defeat Shirley, and I'm not going to fight her, because I want you guys to do that for yourselves once you defeat and kill Shirley the spider queen yes I, I know she despawned you can get the tier 3 treasure key now I don't think nothing spawned in this chest because I did not kill the spider queen uh, first or at least I at least don't think anything spawned but what you can find in tier 3 chests this is where you get the volcanic pickaxe and the shield controller now like I said the volcanic pickaxe uh, all right maybe it's not doing it now but the volcanic pickaxe um, will mine three by three areas much like uh, Tinker's construct um, hammer will and I'm gonna go into survival mode really fast and throw on this thermal armor so I don't die and uh, we'll try to mine a 3x3 three three area. See, there we go. It's really fast. It's really nice. Oh, and it... Did it auto smelt? No. It just... It didn't. Um, it'd be kind of cool if it did since it's named Volcanic. But, um... And now the shield controller. The shield controller is amazing. So, I'm going to put this on... Uh, no! 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 I don't want to fight you, Shirley. Ah, my bad. My bad. So... Let's um, let's return to the surface, and I will show you the shield controller away from the confines of that dungeon. So, the shield controller now is phenomenal. You get it from a chest, a tier 3 chest, and you insert it there, and you become encased in this shield. Now, why is that? Because armor on this planet, any armor, will... Uh, degrade it will become like corroded and it will constantly you know lessen durability and 
slowly disappear and get ruined and break. So it's probably best if you don't uh, wear, like, you know, your best titanium armor to come to Venus and take it on. Because um, your titanium armor will probably end up breaking. So you definitely probably want to wear, I don't know, enchanted iron or if you have tons and tons of diamonds probably maybe some diamond armor and come here get the shield controller and then switch to like the best armor you can think of with any mod and, and put the shield controller on because here let me let me just grab a chest plate real fast I'll, i will grab just a regular um diamond chest plate and let me put that on for you and show you that it it does i can type right uh degrade so we have the shield on and, it, and uh, the, the wiki says that the shield protects you from all damage. So I'm assuming that means fall damage as well. So we're just going to run around here and the shield's all fine. So we're going to take off the shield now. Instantly. Instantly. It, it starts going down. And you can see, look, like it says uh, in the corner next to Diamond Chestplate, 3 one, one, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's going up. Because it's changing the the data values I guess and and the durability is just going down on this thing so you definitely don't want to wear your best armor to Venus and have it corrode off your body and die from no protection you you definitely want to get the shield to protect it I don't think the shield gives you any protection let me take off the diamond chest plate yeah no the shield gives you no protection it just protects your armor so uh, let's uh, let's go back to earth and wrap this up all right, that about wraps it up for uh, part two of the Galacticraft 4 showcase. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't checked out part one, do so, please. Uh, I'll link will be in the description and as well as the end of this video. Um, that's that's about it. That's Galacticraft 4. I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope you get the mod. It's a great mod. Of, of course, there'll be links to download in the description. Um, check it out. It's really great. Subscribe if you want to. And episode gently tap that like button please and i will see you next time bye